You know, I had a lot of action figures as a child, but I never prayed to any of them. Uh, hello, my name is Wallace Smith. Welcome to a Tomorrow's World webcast. And oh, I am so grateful for the person who sent me this BBC article from BBC Newsbeat, actually dated January 6th. Uh, I'll just read the title. It says, Grandma accidentally prays to Elrond from Lord of the Rings. Huh. Now, you do not need to know what Lord of the Rings is in detail or who Elrond is in detail. I can summarize for you, otherwise the article won't make sense. Uh, Lord of the Rings is the famous J.R.R. Tolkien fantasy books about which there were huge movies made by Peter Jackson, a lot of footage from New Zealand. And Elrond is just this elf character, uh, pointy ears, long flowing robes. Anyway, the character in the stories. And because these are popular movies and such, they have action figures made of them, little toy action figures that children would play with. Well, anyway, I'll just read the story. It says here, a Brazilian grandmother has been praying to a figurine from Lord of the Rings for years without realizing. It says the woman thought she was praying to St. Anthony, but it turns out the figure was Elrond, Lord of Rivendell. Her relative, Gabriella Brandau, made the discovery and posted it on Facebook with the caption, The Funniest Discovery of 2016. The post reads, My daughter's great-grandmother prays to St. Anthony every day. But on closer inspection, she said St. Anthony wasn't what he seemed. The pointy ears may have given the game away. Uh, Gabriella's post has been shared thousands of times around the world. Uh, apparently, uh, the woman's daughter's great-grandmother now has an actual statue, uh, I guess official statue or something of St. Anthony, as he's called. But for years, she's been praying to an action figure, Elrond from Lord of the Rings. I, I agree, completely hilarious. At the same time, just a reminder of something that actually isn't hilarious at all, and that is the great corruption of the actual religion God would like to see spread over the earth that is still ever present with us. God doesn't want us praying to uh, so-called saints and all the rest and using statues and all these things. He just doesn't. And it's not just a Jewish thing. It's not just the uh, quote-unquote Jewish law. It's the very same for all the Gentiles in the world as well. Even the New Testament, this is pointed out, in Acts chapter 17, the Apostle Paul tries to explain these things to his Gentile audience there in Greece. Uh, we'll read from Acts 17. He told them, God who made the world and everything in it, I'll add, including the materials that makes the plastic of a Lord of the Rings action figure, God who made the world and everything in it, He is Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in temples made with hands, nor is He worshipped with men's hands, as though He needed anything, since He gives to all life, breath, and all things. Uh, he tells them later, Therefore, since we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divine nature is like gold or silver or stone, I'll add plastic, uh, something shaped by art and man's devising. Truly these times of ignorance God overlooked, but now commands all men everywhere to repent. Uh, it does matter to him. He continues to say there's a day coming when he's going to judge these things uh, by and through the one whom he sent and raised from the dead, which is Jesus Christ. These things do matter. You know, this is a silly mistake. I'm sure this woman felt terrible and probably felt ridiculous when she realized that she's been praying to a toy action figure. At the same time, even those who are sincerely praying to other objects that are somehow actual religious objects and not action figures should also feel silly and ridiculous because the God they seem to want to pray to has nothing to do with those things. It's not a part of the religion that He wants in the world in any way at all. It's time to move past our action figures, whether they're characters from Lord of the Rings or they're actually called Saint so-and-so, and pray to the real God. If not, we might find ourselves instead praying one day to a fictional elf king. Thanks for watching. Please check out everything we have available at tomorrowsworld.org.